This is a quick rundown on the Gilo's P40. It's kit 501, 16 and a half inch span. Um, this is how mine turned out, the star C conversion. Um, yeah, the worst part of it was the back windows, I believe. But you can see my servos. I use two and a half gram servos. There's an orange four channel receiver, six amp Pentium ESC. It's a 2200 KV nine gram brushless outrunner. The prop actually came off a uh, Cox 020. It's a thimble drone prop. The spinner is static. Uh, actually, I used a uh, Park Zone P51 spinner. Uh, got a little scuffed on the last flight. Uh, we've flown the thing a few times now. Um, last time it was windy, very cold. Right after the plane landed, a gust of wind blew it over and cracked the cowl. And it knocked off my exhaust <clears throat> stacks, but uh, they glued back on. It's minimal damage, really, but it is a very frail um, cowl. And uh, other than that, no damage. Uh, it's been it's a good flyer. It's fast. Um, flies off 2S, 350 milliamp batteries. Um, they're the G-Force. <clears throat> The flight times are, I flew at seven and a half minutes and brought the thing in, it still had 40% left in the battery. So I imagine, you know, eight, nine minutes. I'll turn it, give you a couple of different views on it. Always like P40s. Try to give it some scale wing guns. They're uh, carbon fiber pieces. And did some airbrushing on it. <clears throat> I don't know about the uh, the shark mouth. Maybe we can paint that on this winter. The bottom view. Uh, the ailerons are attached um, with shrink tube um, and CA onto the Z bends. And they're just some control horns I made up out of scrap plastic. Yeah, the tail wheel steers with the rudder. I'll see if I can go ahead and stick a battery in here. We'll turn on the DX7. And uh, I'll show you a little static test on it. Just really like to do this before uh, something happens to the plane. A lot of work. My battery hatch comes off. Battery fits in here just right. Goes on to some Velcro, and there's just room to stuff the wiring. And we reinstall our cover. And there we are. We have my ailerons. They're very tight, there's no play. Um, elevator and rudder and of course throttle I was very surprised at what kind of power this thing put out um, it lifted right off it cruises it Less than half throttle, uh, a little directional, 
I did not put the recommended dihedral in the wing. I knocked it back to about a half inch. And uh, I would say I should have put more dihedral in it. But it's okay. We've got some ultralight foam tires on it now. The weight of this plane is right at three and a quarter ounces with the battery flying weight. Which is arguably a little heavy, but the times I've flown it has been in five to seven mile an hour winds and it, it bucks the wind great. It's very predictable and loops nice, rolls nice. I hope we can get a flight video, but as you can see it's rather cold here right now. Our frozen water dishes and uh, cats are dealing with it. So probably won't be flying anytime real soon. We might get a break in the weather, but that was the Gilo's P40 Warhawk. Run my controls once more. I think I got 35% expo on this thing. Um, you know, they could they return pretty well. You know, they've loosened up after flying it a few times. You know, I'll do the throttle once more if I can keep it in the picture. Blow everything off the table. Yeah. Pretty super cool. Um, the uh, Piper 95, my other build, he's still flying quite nicely. And, uh, that was kit 602. You know, these are really a cheap uh, airframe for the Park Zone stuff or uh, Alter Micro stuff. Um, and this is my next build the Stuka. Um, that is kit 508. Uh, that will get a Park Zone Ultra Micro P51. Uh, gear and uh, you know, I'm actually using lighter covering on that and really trying to get a lightweight plane out of it. These two planes are regular monocoat from uh, 10 or 12 years ago. <clears throat> um, it's the old formula monocoat supposedly has lead but it actually um, it worked really well on them. They're very tough planes they can really take impact um, you know, the, the Piper has gone in hard a few times. I'm very impressed with the strength of that plane. Um, his overall weight was two and a quarter ounces with the battery. Um, anyways, this is the, uh, Gilos P40 RC conversion. Uh, I hope you liked it.